Hello everyone and welcome. We have touched base. <laughs> Meaning this is the floor of our old apartment. I just realized I have so much footage here from projects that I've already finished and did not voice over yet. So I thought it really was time to voice over it. And as this is a 70 by 70 centimeter canvas, it was too large for my regular desk. So I am here back on our floor. You have seen me working on our floor before when I did the large golden and the blue ring pour and this is again a purple one. The gold one has recently sold to France so I am really really happy that this piece found a new home. And I wanted to play around with my purple. I just recently got my first ever <laughs> purple lavender color from Atina as well and I want to see how it works. I also used it for the three cup ring pour piece that I did a couple of weeks back and there it really dried very dark. I wanted to use it again just to have it a bit more lightened up this time by adding more white. So I rather would not want it to be that dark this time but just prominent to be purple in the overall piece. And you all know by now how much I love these gas giant planet look that I always get when I make these ring pours on larger scale. I so much like them and I hope to achieve something like that here as well. And after this one I also did another one with the same technique but a different result which I will show you in a separate video to let you watch this year in a less sped up version. There is basically not so much to say about the entire process. You can see everything here as I always show you. But this time, just in case you have not done this before, I am not using a base layer coat paint as a base layer. <laughs> I'm just using some water. And this is the plain canvas. I put pinboard pins underneath to elevate it from the surface to allow the drip of paint to drip off. And then I just use regular water and water the canvas. This on one hand makes it a bit stiffer so that the paint is not puddling up towards the middle, which it normally shouldn't do anyways because due to the stretching of the paint there is not so much of a thick paint layer on there to, to have it puddled up in the middle, I'd say. But as a second bonus, the water also allows the paint to flow easier over the surface. But it also has some tricks. So if you have your base layer of paint, you can just pour over it easily and you can be sure that your paint is not in the mixing with the water because it's just paint underneath. If you use water and you're using too much water, the paint can be thinned down a bit and makes different shapes and designs. Probably also different than you had in mind in the beginning phase. So when you use water, make sure you only use a little border, spread it around that the entire canvas is covered and soaked, but that there is no water layer or water film laying on top of it. So you don't want to have this because this could create issues on the go. Other than that, it is basically just layering your paints in your pouring jar. And this is just a kitchen jar that I've used here to pour the paint out. And of course, I won't use it in the kitchen again. <laughs> The paints that I'm using is a white, a gold and the lavender purple. And I mixed them as I always do with my acrylic binder, which I've told you over and over and over again. If anyone still does not know how I make my paint mixes, just text me in the comment box down below. And then it is just pouring everything onto the surface and stretching it around. As you can see, I made an initial pour and stretched this one around and added a second pour when I knew how much paint I'm going to need and how the design is actually developing. So other than that, there is not so much more to say. I will let you watch the entire thing in real time this time, so I don't speed it up that much. <laughs> and I will get back to you at the end when I make the final camera swipe on the dried and varnished version. So enjoy watching. <laughs>
So now after you've seen the red version, which already looks pretty cool from my taste, I want to show you the finished version filmed in sunlight. It's already varnished at this point, so I hope you enjoyed the entire process. I hope you liked this color combination, I hope you liked the look. I really think it looks like a gas giant again, which made me super happy. <laughs> and other than that, I just want to say Thank you for the past year. It was really overwhelming for me to get so many new subscribers and lovely comments and people from all over the world texting me, chatting with me, contacting me on social media. It was really awesome. Thank you so, so much. And in case we did not see again before Christmas, I wish you and your loved ones a merry, merry Christmas, much of love and peace and just a great time with your loved ones. As there is not so much more to say than that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I hope to see you in my coming next videos. So thank you for your time, thank you for watching and other than that, I wish you a great day. <laughs> bye bye, love you all.